Guno pieces were the driving force behind this project. This set of six pieces is particularly beautiful and shows Guno's understanding of how to exploit this new instrument. One of the unique things about the new Corpiston, the new valved horn in the 1830s, 1840s, was that it opened up a whole new low range to the horn, this beautiful serpentine baritone register. On the hand horn, you can't play so effectively in this register just because there are so few open notes. The vast majority of notes have to be stopped in this register. And this is fine in fast passages, but what Guno writes in his six melodies are these often melancholic little gems which really explore the melodious side to this range. They're curious pieces because they are so early in both the history of the instrument and also in Guno's life. It's not surprising that he knew about the instrument. He was studying at the Conservatoire in Paris shortly after Meifred, the leading valve horn player of this time, had been appointed professor there. Around this time, composers such as Alevi, one of Gounod's teachers, were beginning to write works for the Paris Opera that used the valve horn. The Gounod works are written for and dedicated to Marcel Auguste Rau, a horn player with the Théâtre Italien in Paris and best known today as one of the top makers of the age. Some have suggested that Rau could have lent on the young Gounod to write these pieces in order to help him promote his new instrument, but I do wonder, as surely right at this point in Guno's life, he was the one who had more to gain from association with the more established Rao than the other way around. The fascinating thing is that Guno publishes a method book for the new instrument shortly after publishing these melodies. One of the things that other composers at this point were lamenting was that they were writing for these new instruments, but outside of Paris, they risked their pieces being unplayable as musicians in different cities and countries didn't know how to play these new instruments. Whilst you have to take that with a pinch of salt, it does smack of chauvinism. What was true was that by writing and publishing his method, Guno stood a better chance of these pieces being understood and therefore performed.